on CT side, not T side. Yes. Does that spring anything to mind? Yeah. Then yeah. Then the conversation goes back to well. First of all, I re really like phases T sides. A lot of variety. They are really good about one thing when it comes to outside, and that's not being scared of taking over big garage. So catching lurks will be huge. I think we sometimes see Hooksy, if I'm not mistaken, floating there. I'm sometimes I haven't watched too much Copenhagen Flames, so I can't remember exactly who it is um, playing the back of big garage. But I think one thing about Phase is they're able to fan the map very quickly, and uh, yeah, they're not they're not shy about taking outside control. Well, let's see it. That's where Rain actually starts the party. This is, of course, a map three between the Flames and Phase for a spot in the playoffs. And Copenhagen Flames had their chance in a map three yesterday on Ancient versus what felt like the biggest of underdogs. And they couldn't close. That that seed of doubt seeping through and Rain seeping into this A site. Roy, he's just going to wow. get completely rocked because Rain was able to get over top of Mini, clamber all the way into heaven, and then execute it with ease. Phase bomb plant on that A site. It's a single man advantage, but Zyphon, he's got one point of health. There's this weird situation with Twist still a little further back, but he comes in through Mini, so he should be able to help if things start. Yeah, yeah, he will be able to help. <laughs> nice little tap into Zyphon, and Kerrigan's going to close it. That is five for five phase winning pistols. Rain looked over at Kerrigan, and he said, weaponize me, daddy. <laughs> Kerrigan said, okay, son, get out there. Ran over top of Silo, like he had rollerblades on. In through Mini, out through Heaven, and instantly. I mean, minute 20, he's in Heaven killing them at the top of HUD. So what, what else is there to say except for this enormous timing? was taken advantage of by FaZe, and Flames had no idea about it. So they're already showing how comfortable they are taking space on T-side and why they're so good on T-side in general. Hope for Copenhagen Flames' sake, they can at least win a single pistol in this series. They've only got one more chance. Yeah, true. Mike 7 on Roy, scout for Nikodaz. Phase starting to take a little bit of a glance towards that ramp room. Molly goes in, util all around it. Brokey gonna clear all the corners and nothing. Nobody's seen. Nothing sensed. Completely all you can do is open. swing your arm when you get the incorrect stack on CT side. It's so hard to rotate over. Yeah. Because of the verticality. So phase gamble correctly. Hooksy will come on in, try to make something happen with the CZ. But it's uh, one of the worst pistols these days. That it is. But there's still some people it, using it, it. It almost works like a Zeus in the sense that if you hold an angle, it's one of the best pistols. But as soon as it has to become something where you entry or like far away and you have to fight, it's it's no longer that good. It's a really nice landmine. But beyond that, it can oftentimes let you down. And oh, they're still working on outside. They're everywhere. Keeping options open is the phase way. Five seven. Meanwhile, sign me up. Deagles, well, I, I, personally, I'm just not good enough. But Yabby certainly could be. If somebody comes up this ladder, he'll gut punch him. Faye's going to take that second one. Ramp, just easy, man. Rain, he was looped up from that first one. Slid through heaven. Yeah, I think that's good, too. I mean... And they all rolled down ramp. The better Rain is playing, like, just keep giving him carry rolls. And I like... Kerrigan's so malleable when it comes to his calling. He's so open to the idea of changing things all the time. You can see the adaptation. He plays off of what's happening now, not his ideas going into the match Kinda, or his preconceived notions. Yeah. Instead, if something is working, he's going to run off that. If he sees an exploit that he didn't see in the preparation, he's going to change it, tailor it live. And that's that's really the scariest part about Kerrigan, what makes him the best caller right now. A real craftsman in that sense. He's got a toolbox full of players and plans. Rearranging them as he sees necessary. Lots of damage done versus Brokey and Twist. So much so that the P2K and USP will each get a kill here for Flames. But then that's the end of that and Phase 3-0. So not only winning every pistol of this series, but converting for a minimum of two rounds off of it every time. It's just strong starts each half for at least one more in this series, dude. We look it's... back on a stellar inferno, you know, the fact that two pistols were lost and Flames still won. That was a super solid map. But now we're at the point one one. Uh, Flames have a very comfortable, you know, 
Nuke, I mean, it's it's scary in every single situation. They're Danish. They nearly won that last one. I mean, yeah, it's literally written into their genetic code that they can win this map. But there's also a Danish IGL on the other side. Yeah, if you had, a, if you had any secret weapon. Uh-oh. Hooksy blinded and dead. There's the peek back from Yavi. Can he hold both sides? No. Kerrigan trades that one, takes the bomb out. Brokey's got coverage from Vent, and Zyphon just can't see anything. Oh, bad molly. With that flash, he goes in. And that was an opening created because of a bad nade. 2K. And Brokey, he went down the vent in the meantime. Yeah, he should have been fine to do this and ra rotate up through secret, but... Now he's in a spot where he might have to make a very hard rotation. So they smoke so he can escape. Twists. He gets oh. that kill inside hut. Bomb still planted front sight. Nikodaz runs in, puts a smoke on it, and that's where Brokey okay. doubles back to end it. FaZe will find a fourth. Miss Utility with a nice setup from Copenhagen Flames. Oops. Trying to play a 2v4. Two mollies popped up in heaven that missed. Uh, FaZe have missed a fair few bits of utility in the series already which is not really a good sign, but the flashes were the things to really steal the show here. And Roy just snuck in through the mini smoke. So it was a double entry from uh, Rops, but it was the beautiful flashes from Twist and the perfect timing on the exit that made the most difference. We're back to saving here for Copenhagen Flames. Of course, the analyst panel also mentioning, like it just feels impossible that FaZe or specifically Rops is gonna have like a poor performance three maps in a row. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on it, you know. Yeah. It would be, you know, numerically doesn't stack up, highly unlikely. This should be his moment. FaZe, you know, can take over with him. We'll see. But 5-2 so far and uh, another chance to farm some easy kills. Siphon on the boxes. Playing whack-a-mole with broken drops and insta-deagle headshot falls down into the B site. Very clean kickoff for this one. Keep the tabs on back right here with Rain. FaZe have been good with dealing with these kinds of rounds, right? We haven't had any mix-ups really. So even with that five versus four, they stabilize. And Hooksy will get one outdoors. So that's a gun offered over. Yeah, we're three and on three. Kerrigan with the bomb plant. It's still a little bit of life for what it is, how it started. Half armor and Nikodos has picked up an AK. So that's something. Yeah, this is, it is winnable. Pulse plant is very good. Decon's open. CT's starting to come over. See how long they take, though. Double door swing. Oh, Nikodaz with the AK on that side. Very good in the open. Doesn't land his shots. Now Decon swings open, taps away. There's the AK. Dealt with and twists. Helps out versus Yabby. It's a kill apiece from the three phase players all surviving. Phase find five as quick as can be. A very nice start here for phase. Everything is kind of working out beautifully. Flames still have a ton of time. But time is a weird thing. You know, and these these routes can go quickly. It's just a concept, really. It it is. Unit of measurement. Indeed. Have you ever tried to count to a minute without a, a clock? It's impossible. Diagonal smokes. Good nade pressure here. You alluded to it in the pregame, Rain, Rain taking on responsibility outside. Well, he's also taking on damage before he gets into the no. fight, but it doesn't make a difference, oh, damn that, it. You gotta take a snapshot of that moment because it's Rain versus Roy. In this matchup, Rain has been the top fragger and Roy has severely underperformed for Copenhagen Flames. They do need him, and that's a spot where Rain really had 30 HP, he's down to three, but he gets the kill, he gets secret control, he's now in an outpost, and the T's options are wide open in a minute 10. There is still this health lingering over top of them. You know, Rops almost out of this round. Liability. But I'd still rather have the 5v4. Especially if you can just throw Brokey, Kerrigan, or Twist to that next fight. Pay attention to how uncomfortable Hooksy is. He can hear things sitting inside a mini, but he can't help outside. He's open to Hut and... The, uh, upstairs is being understaffed right now. Kerrigan is walking right by this lurk. Nikodos finally turns. Yeah, there's a chance for him. Getting ahead of it. Yep, sure enough. Warning sign was there. Nikodaz able to now come back and try and help on ramp. If the commitment was made, Rain finds back turn. Won't finish off Hooksy, but that's going to push him to 40. Fire in front of him. Does he have a little sanctuary here? No, sir, because Brokey swings, what? but he still hangs on. As Nikodaz comes down from heaven, Copenhagen Flames looking to break through. All that's left of Rain is that measly 3 HP and the 15 seconds for Flames to lock this in with. Wow. They will find it. Man. A test.
pressure from all directions inside the A site. Hooksy is a brave man. He CTs pushed hang on. slightly out into that molly just to get any kind of little advantage that he could. It's the only reason he won that duel. So lucky to have survived as Rain fluffs the spray on him going into, uh, that, into Mini. That could have been it. it also was Hooksy to hear Kerrigan running by Mini and alarm uh, Nikodos, who had the op, who ended up turning around just in time to kill him. Good warning system in place to keep this one competitive. First round win for the defense. Uh -oh. Brokey right back to the success story as he plucks Nikodaz off of credit card. But there is this player pushed close. Roy, having lost to Rain in the previous round, will get his revenge here in number seven. Yeah, as soon as the molly was coming to right for Roy. Rops is already through the doorway, though. Smoke soon to fade. Look at that. Rops couldn't see anything. Oh, he couldn't see anything. There was a second smoke behind him, and uh, he was in a full one. He thought he was so smart. But reality makes him look foolish. Double up on ramp again. Trying to bait phase into this late. They haven't really been interested. Outside walk comes through. Door blown open for Brokey to have a line. And they could sneak into mini off of this position. Roy will be moved out of the spot. Now Yabby's pushed through. Hut will probably matter a lot. Roy goes down, but they're actually just outside in general. Now they'll come towards Squeaky. Hooksy on top of Hut. Oh, okay. Hooksy dies. There's oh, Zypha goes down. Yabby was, oh my god, Yabby had pushed too, but now he's just back going up to heaven in a one on three. The fact that Yabby got out from that door on hell, but he wasn't able to get any of the fights in from Mini, so he's not able to help before they get on site. 15 seconds, Kerrigan's hands are busy. Twist looks up. Brokey so low. Yabby first kill, second! Oh, that transition into what is the 1v3 versus Brokey on 19 health. And Brokey doubles back all the way towards Squeaky. Yabby has been so sharp on those kinds of moments. And now as he's wary about the hut play, this bomb is planted back site. Brokey... Brokey's not in a position to defend this. How is he going to stop it? When, when the commitment to this defuse comes through with no kit. Oh, but Brokey oh lands the shot. He comes around the corner. And despite Yabby's best efforts, it's phase with six. There is no way Brokey figured that out. I, I, Ice cold, man. He didn't check the first That's, tap. The, Yabby gave him so much respect there. He could have just defused the bomb, but he thought for sure Brokey has, to, he has to play within the oh. hut. And Brokey comes out wide and hopes that Yabby big brains in and walks around the outside. Once he sees that Brokey's there, he realizes he could have stuck that literally 10 seconds, maybe even two times over. And Brokey only made that play because of his HP. There was no other choice for him. Brokey's a killer. Yeah, that was that was a good move, a smart move. A sociopath. And the respect is what earned him that. And now we are right back into a gun round and look at phase. Look at the ferocity of this one. Just running down now through that ramp. Kerrigan culled by Yabby. But in a gun round with an instant five versus three. Uh oh, shots getting missed here, but that's yeah, that's Nikodaz on the op. FaZe can't get ahead of themselves. That round almost lost. They tried to run into this one with a bit of disrespect, a little bit of spin on it. Player against that back wall, dies to rain. Oh, no. Brokey up close, gets the best of Yabby yet again, oh, and that... robs with the end of Nikodaz. 7-1 on this T side. That rotation up was great if Roy had got his kill. Then Yabby could come up, and that would have just pushed them back into squeaky. Whoa, this game's going 21-19. Is it map three? Uh, map two. Map two. Still vertigo between Big. Oh my god. And Vitalite. Big one away from pulling that off. La 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 la. Holy. Okay. Um, flames are not the same beast from Inferno. Had some fire in that second map. Right now, don't look like they have the X Factor anymore. Starting to lose some engagement, but the half isn't over. They won an ego or two. This one won't be one, it looks like. Ooh, nice CC damage. Got to give it there to Roy. Not only the kill, but also tapping into Rops' forehead. Here's Rops, though. We waited for the Rops show. We're getting the Rops show. Yes. 11 and 4. Kind of when they needed it. You know, uh, forget about that one round that he's just standing in a smoke. And you think to yourself, damn. Man's back in action. Yeah, don't don't bet him against him three maps in a row. It just doesn't happen. You just you'll never see it. But um, you'll never see it happen.
I, I feel like Flames are losing confidence. They don't, they don't look as scary suddenly. I'm not exactly sure why. They still have a chance to win. The map is not beyond reach by any means, and they can play new, but... Things are not lining up for the moment. Robs gets to sneak down. This is actually kind of scary for the CT side. Rain here. The op is not very welcome in this position for too long because now, even if he takes contact with Brokey, Rain could potentially kill him. Robs is coming up secret. Nika does his dodge. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no Robs chance. literally snuck vent and came back outside. And, oh, and they took that all the way back. with the flash, too. Oh, bad goes to worse. From Mini all the way into the CT spawn. Hooksy's got a little life on this one. Round 10 could still be theirs. Good dink into Rops. Hooksy within the vents will find Rops with his back turn. So that is the equalizing kill. 3v3. But, but now you've got vents. two players downstairs. And with the fire in front of it, Hooksy not comfortable. Still able to slide Yikes. out. Not sure who he wants to focus on. And so FaZe find that man advantage. Off shot connects from Brokey as he is just simply not missing. Oh. And it is Yabby in another 1v3. Two players already back through hut and lobby. The other one's outdoors behind him. He's not going to find his kill straight down, but still finds twists at least. Half health for Yabby. God damn, consistent on the silent drops, but they, they know he has to. Oh, yeah, and Kerrigan. They got him. This time he stops it. It was Kerrigan who got snapped into last time Twist died first. And uh, Kerrigan, enough is enough. 9 1. Um, What a sick call. What a sick call from FaZe, the way that they worked outside. Rain stayed alive. They got him tucked in. They had the op behind it. And they didn't even have to use the op or the rifle up front to take out Nikodaz outside. Instead, they surrounded him with Rops, who said, chill for a second. I've snuck down the vent. They haven't responded to this rotation at all. And instead of working down to decon, working over to control side and, and trying to stir up the ramp players, he goes back to outside just to clear that out with lots of time to spare. And then they trade it down, and Kerrigan's the one who saves it inside of Squeaky. And that's the options open, malleability that we talk about with FaZe, and how they're so hard to read. Drops and Kerrigan, easy kills deep inside of Hell. Again, just working through the little bits of buys that the CT side comes through with. Brokey, while being peppered by an MP9, still rips your head off. This is this kind of phase that just scares me. Yeah, it's a terrifying phase. But it's also the form that we kind of hope they would have potentially going into playoffs. Of course, they're, it doesn't mean that they're, they're going to have it. But yeah, this is the 2-1 game, and they will be locked in. And end on a note where I think they feel more comfortable... Because there are bigger threats in Copenhagen Flames for them at this major, and a one where, right now, where it's kind of hard to see who's a favorite, most people would probably lean towards phase. This legend stage could turn that on its head. That was the narrative. The initial script. Ten rounds, eleven deep on this T side. No chance for Copenhagen Flames so far. Robs is going to walk out as they go for the two-man vent boost, and that timing's just so good oh. as Robs connects to the other head. 15 and 6 so far. No way he pulled that off. Outdoors, we get Roy fighting Rain. That battle going back and forth, but that's Roy's fourth kill of this CT side. Nikodaz activates, gets man advantage, in fact. CT side still trying to survive, trying to hang on here. Warning shot goes by. Kerrigan knows that he has Nikodaz pinned to the wall. Twists oh, through, the through wall. it. Is able to get the better of him and puts Siphon into the clutch. Man, they're starting to look so desperate. The third attempt at a heaven clutch <laughs> from Copenhagen Flames. It always comes close, though. And last time, 1v3. This time, 1v2. Kerrigan, first contact. Half of Siphon's health is gone. Same can be said for the IGL of FaZe. Smoke to the paint can. I don't think that hits that well, but it might be enough. They're both just layered on top of each other. He's going to have to come out to get them or just straight up go down. Peaks wide. Kerrigan kills him. An 11th for FaZe as they show no sign of stopping. Man, a couple of times where they've just come flying up the vent and think, and you think, wow, that's this is not the composure that we're used to seeing from the Flames. 
And now they're getting thinned down, and now the confidence plays are starting to come out. I mean, Rops literally didn't even tell anybody about this. Said, I'm walking out. I'm going out, hut. Like, I'm walking out. I probably didn't stay over. Bomb, I'm going out. Yeah. I'm leaving, packing up. I'm moving out. Rops has autonomy. And he's not coming home till the sun goes down. Rops has confidence. This is the, the scariest that he's been so far. Desert Eagles at a CZ for Copenhagen Flames. They're getting decimated and bodied. Chance versus Spirit yesterday. Hard, hard match here versus FaZe. One more attempt if they can't pull this out to qualify through. And this is starting 2-0. It's brutal, but it's the way it goes. They wouldn't be the first team in major history to go from a 2-0 to a 2-3. Yeah, you calling out fours like that? I said no names. But yes. <laughs> Little creepy crawl from rain downstairs this time. It's man advantage for Copenhagen Flames on the armored eagle buy. So again, you know, a, a matter of playing enough rounds to eventually stick the landing. Duh. But they get down the vents. Roy's gonna go oh. ahead and follow them. Doesn't make sense. Brokey knows it, turns around, deals with that first threat. Now Twist's gonna lock in any other buddies that decide to trickle down. Backsight held onto by Rain, and that is 12 rounds to 11. Yeah, they're following it up. They're playing, they're just, phase have layers, phase have versatility, they have comforts, they uh, can trust their pieces right now, which is the big thing that they really didn't have as much on Inferno. Um, and we're now just talking about T-Side. Can Nick and Dawes even hang on to the AK? A freebie, perhaps? No. No, Rocks not even that. Silo. No parting gifts. Nothing. Nothing, Mo. Potential for... Yes, not even dignity. Potential for three rounds. They didn't leave him a gift. They we're didn't not. bring him out for dinner first. They're just... They're just owning him. Yeah. I always buy my opponent's gifts before owning them. It's, you know, leave them with like a mouse pad or something. Yeah. Uh, no mouse pads, no frags. Maybe they should get some mouse pads. No one has over 10 kills so far for Copenhagen Flames. It's just a whole other level for phase on this T side. That, I mean, look, it, it doesn't stop. Uh, it does not stop. Oh. He just runs past the silo player. Jesus. He ignores Hooksy. He discredits him. He disowns him. He neglects him. The flashes worked out beautifully. I mean, to the point the entry fraggers could look for different targets before even finishing the last ones and wait, waited uh, 13 rounds just to pull out the instant out of spawn, full A attack. It feels like that's been something that IGLs do. They hang it over the CT's heads for long enough until they start to have to think about other things and they hit them right in the gut. And this is just spectacular from FaZe. We were finally waiting for the what was supposed to be another moment, another gun round, a chance maybe. Not even. The A players can't even tell anybody what happened because they don't know. They were blind the whole time. And they just died. There really weren't even that many Molotovs on the site. Even save it? No. Wow. The op even gets taken away from him at the very end of spawn. this. The final, final round of this half. The fastest of T halves I may have ever seen. Yeah. What a sick start with that pistol round wrapping heaven by a minute 20 into oh God, that's how it started, a true. series of different, you know, outside plays. I mean, they, they're playing T-side nuke to, like, to an idyllic level. Everything is so good. It's the scariest it could possibly be. It's so hard to read the map. Forced in. And now we're, and just confidence plays too. Yeah, I mean, nobody Inside of the molly. They're just trying, man. They're in free fall, and they're just trying to grab a ledge, grab a rock, grab a rope. And now they're just getting wrapped up in it. Two versus two. Final round of the first half. Smoke about to fade. And Rain could walk through. But instead, it's Roy up from secret. Another clutch needed. And finally, at Ooh. the final step, two we rounds. get Copenhagen Flames with their second. Yeah, that's cute. But a deflating reality. Yeah, if they don't win their first pistol of this series, 
the energy was not there this map. There was it's over. Not enough defense outside. No, no five v fours. They let Robs get rolling in a series where he might be doubting himself at least a little bit. No, not the case anymore. They are the ones who look like they were on the back foot, not in control of things, making hasty rotations, not nearly as scary as they have been. FaZe know they have this one locked up. Let's see if they can turn the key. such hope coming off of that inferno win a convincing inferno win where, where we saw them turn the tail upside down they they improved where they needed to how they almost in a fairy tale essence brought back ancient try again this time to the t side kills going their way at the very least pistol looking good and kerrigan attacks in for mini but that heaven peak is also shut out and there it is one of six CPH Flames win the pistol. Yeah, true. True, one of six. But what will it really net them? What good could this truly do? Yeah, are they prolonging the inevitable? It's hard to say. They got this close to making that enormous CT side comeback on Ancients. That was very insane. Actually, it was 2 to 14 at that point. They just don't have the same map bias that they do on Nuke. Eagle over blue goes down. Rain dead. Frag damage. Shipping away at Hooksy. Please don't win the force by force. Oh, man. Just don't <clears throat> do that. Well, Robs is still alive, and he just got a kill untraded. And, oh, man, does he know to re-aggress on... Secret too. They're scared and walking away. Frops is getting closer. Brokey starting to tuck into hell and not seeing anybody now. Twist is still alive, also waiting for them to greet them in the upstairs site. They're going up and above. That might be heard. Bomb goes down. No. No, no, not like this. Brokey. Okay. He falls. They deal with twists. It's Rops and Rops alone. Doubling back from ramp into the lobby. Yabby's back's turn. He catches it, but does no damage. One versus three for Rob. 20 and eight. He goes for the AK. Yeah. Nikodas plays the bait. And Copenhagen Flames play the advantage in pistol to take a second at least Rob's, in this half. Rob's definitely mad. He was going to go for that. I feel like six months ago, Rob just takes that AK, turns around right away, but... He had the right. He had the, he had the right. He had definitely had the ability. He's having a game. But they survived that. That could have come down to the Deagle and the Heaven guy. 4 to 13. Pistols again here from Faze. Siphon fully blinded. 5 7 gives chase right into Yabby. And Siphon able to lock it in. So the expectance of the lobby crunch, but uh, a mismanaged Molotov will cause Yabby at least. Still, very easily recoverable. Another attempt here from Twist. He walks in, finds another player. Can't throw any mollies. You better keep them, them guns up. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. Twist goes back in and dies, as it should be. Versus... The T side start here for the Copenhagen Flames. Yeah, they're just saying, give us a break, man. <laughs> Please, Papa. <laughs> B site clear. Rain goes down. Insta headshot. Deagle attempt here from Rope. Oh, Nika Dawes. Sharp as needed. That's nice. That's five now for the Copenhagen Flames. Eight rounds to the advantage, of course, for FaZe. But that gun round is about to come out from the defense, and we'll see if this second half is truly short-lived. Yeah. Brokey's going to have no util, and Flames will take a timeout. This is their kind of establishing round, knowing that FaZe come in with a lot more money than they've seen so far.
Nikodaz is top fragging, but it's, you know, it's in a match where, I don't know, that impact isn't really t felt in the same way it was in the first two. But, I mean, one thing is true, that he has been one of the standout players and the most consistent across the series. He has Don Hackey in tears with these off shots. Cry is free. Yeah. <laughs> Maidenless behavior. Yes. All right, Flames, let's see it. You gave us you gave us a show on Ancient with that comeback attempt. This comeback attempt actually starts with a pistol round win, which is one step better. But it also feels like they need to go one step further in contrast to that second map. They'll get to secret for free. Win a few gun rounds and we'll start talking. He gets up close. He's got more than one body to deal with, and he gets into the vent just as they start to come around the corner. Ooh. It's the kill for Brokey. They Down goes Nika Dawes, the top fragger for the Flames. Damn. He made such a fast rotation. He got comfy inside the vent. I feel like they heard his scope, but they didn't react accordingly. Dodges the flash. Uh, but he's he's one lower. He's one lower. They're starting to run back, and Rain is just letting everybody know. He's got the walkie-talkie out saying, okay, they gave up on you, Brokey. They're coming back to me. He's down. And he can't stop it. Okay. Playing with the tech. Gets toppled. Brokey, though. What? He'll find Yabby. Where's that one happening? I don't even know. Oh, he went up the vent. Oh, my God. He got some kind of wall bag. Now he's going to go back down the vent in case oh, they want to try to avoid him. Such a little gremlin, man. Hiding down in the <laughs> troll caves. He gets hooksy. He is everywhere, Brokey. Jesus. Four versus two. Copenhagen Flames by starting to subside Roy on one end of this lower bomb site, Zyph in the other, and he's just hoping to get past the cave troll, which he will. But by the time he hits this B site, he's got 40 HP and no teammates to work with. Brokey guns him down with the headshot point blank. Phase on 14. Wow, oh, he's got a good feeling for the game, doesn't he, Brokey? Coming up the vent, going down the vents. And they were actually just trying to avoid him as much as possible. That was crazy. His rotation was so fast, they thought no way he could get to the vent. He took a risk there. It didn't look like it. Perceptibly, from, our, from what we could see, he had the space to do it. But that's actually very hard to know if you're in that moment, right? How, how fast are they going to be down secret? Could Nikodas already have been posted on the vent? How is that a headshot? His confidence is huge right now. I just Sometimes I don't understand how fast this kid is. Pride of Latvia. Ooh. That's Kerrigan with the blind spray. Gets the better of Hooksy. Buy-in for the Flames was good, but man disadvantage already. Yeah, be kind of stuck in this spot here. Bullets zinging by. Robs gets aggressive from ramp with that op. The second for FaZe in this round. Robs the Cyclops just walking through lobby scoped in. Okay, the moment dude. he rounds that corner, Zyphon's gonna nail him to the wall, as it should be. Roy starts to wrap around Mini. Can't manage Kerrigan in that closest of corners and twists. Is here to support I think as Kerrigan. the IG all fell back. I think Kerrigan baited him. He ran away, walked right back into it. Siphon brings one home. Keeping it sharp. Yeah, three on three. Another mini, mini lurk coming out. Brokey and Kerrigan still in position. Brokey swoops down to the bomb site to try and hold off with Kerrigan. And Siphon, he's doing everything he needs to. Four kills on the round to give Copenhagen Flames and Denmark a little hope. But it has been rain all day. And as he comes into the heavens, they're going to know about it. Siphon down beneath him dead. Yabby on the open floorboards. Looking for the clutch, no, but he gets the it. headshot connects, Woo! and Rain siphons any life left <laughs> from Copenhagen Flames. Did he die? Wait, did, did he just die? Wait, 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 because he didn't defuse just now, right? He fell out of heaven. Did oh, he just? Hold on. How much health is he at? 49, 23. Oh my god, he fell Three, out of heaven. He died, didn't he? <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>
The Norwegian stone golem. Oh the my bigger God. they are, the harder they fall. Oh, that's too funny. Wait, okay, this would be absolutely tragic and ridiculous and hard to stomach if this was a closer match. I would just like to say that. <laughs> they did get five players, and there's still so much of a lead. I think they can smile about this. Of course, that was match points. Okay, that was match points. I mean, Rain definitely did the hard part of that clutch. I'll say that much. The rest, most can figure out, but gravity is your worst enemy at some times. Well, what if it's Copenhagen Flames' biggest ally? If, that, if that's the reason that they come back into this, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see about that. Uh, what in God's But it looks name. like the Zyphon 4K entry was not in vain. Let's just give him the ace. Ceremonially. Rain trying to recover. Twist gives good cover. Oh, Two kills. No. Rops okay. comes out from secret. All right, yeah. And uh, the, the laughter can continue here for FaZe because it looks like 15th locked in. There's all these demons walking around outside ready to pick you off. Ghoulish. Roy's in an interesting spot. I don't know. Are they, They're not aware of this timing, so... There's a chance, and, and now the tension is drawn from Yabby. You can go back ball. through the lobby, but they're going to wait for Yabby's rotation. It's really hard for Roy, I think, to get back into this. If he walks in a hut, it's the move. Oh, <gasps> he's found Kerrigan. All right, that's not half bad. Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh. In what world? Oh, can we go back in time, please? In, in what world does that not kill him? I... How is oh, Roy? Just um, Roy. Gonna have to walk that one off, I think. Oh, no, no, have you no. ever seen anything like it? Roy. It's been a series of unfortunate events here today, folks. It, oh. How? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god, would they have won that round? What is happening, man? 15 here for FaZe. I guess tragedy begets tragedy because we've got two in a row. It's FaZe ultimately come out ahead. You know, five dead on that previous round into a low buy, which is probably a symptom of why Roy didn't get that kill in the first place. And now. Everybody is off the table here for Copenhagen Flames. It's all over, man. It's done. Phase just an absolute domination here on Nuke. And they will, with that, despite the jokes and laughter and shenanigans at the end, qualify for playoffs. So a very serious result at the end of it. Yeah. I mean, it matters, man. They join Navi and Team Spirit as the first three teams to qualify into the playoff bracket here in the Antwerp Major. And uh, Copenhagen Flames, at the very least, still have a chance to get through. They push FaZe to their limit. Other teams will be will be scared of them. But uh, this is a win that was a bit too far out of reach.